Hi everyone. So today we'll be discussing RMO 2019 problem number four. So this is the problem statement. Okay. I'll not go over it word by word, but I'll just quickly tell what it means. So you are given a three cross two array, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it says that all the row sums are equal. Like this is seven, this is seven, this is seven. But the sums of squares is not the same for each row. So sums of squares for this is uh, one plus 36, 37. This is uh, 29 and this is 25. Uh, you can write this as 25 plus 4. So like this is more by 4 and this is more by 12. Extend the above array to a 3 cross k array. So basically it asks you to extend it so that there are 3 rows. Like row 1, row 2, row 3. But there are k columns. 1, 2, so on till k columns. Such that, uh, and it says extend. So like the first six elements like these should be the same as this array. One, two, three, four, five, six. So until K. Adding more columns using the numbers seven, eight, nine. So until three K. Such that uh, the row sums is equal. Like this, this condition says that the sum of all the elements in this row, let's call this S1, is same as S2 is same as S3. And this says the sums of squares is also equal. So like one square plus six square plus other stuffs, like square of other elements is equals to stuff here, square of that and the stuff here. Okay. So now like this is asked you to extend the above array to a three cross K array. It does not ask you like what all such arrays can be right which follow this condition. So like this is just like trying to find one array which works that's all this question asks for and like in your solution booklet if you just write one array without any explanation you'll get the full 70 marks but you'll still need to do some thinking on how to find that array so let's think about that so one idea can be like okay we are given one two three four five six what if we just continue this seven eight nine ten eleven twelve you will see that 789 does not really do anything. You will see that yourself when you try like different cases. But let's see what happens when we have these elements. This was summing up till uh, 25 plus 12. This was summing to 25 plus 4. And this was summing to 25. This thing sums up to uh, 144 plus 49, uh, 193. This thing sums up to 121 plus 64, 185. And this thing sums up till 181. So this is 181 plus 4. And this is 181 plus 12. Excuse me. So we see that like the difference here is of 12, here is 4 from the lowest term. And here is the same case. Here is 181 increases by 4 and increases by 12. So now if you have something like if you pair up the stuff, so like you have 1, 6, 2, 5, 3, 4. These can be like one, uh, one uh, pairing. Another you pair up 7, 12. 8, 11, 9, 10. And you can also include, uh, so like, if you rearrange, uh, like, let's say you flip 7, 12 with 8, 11, like you make this something like 1, 6, 8, 11, 2, 5, 7, 12, 3, 4, 9, 10. And you can consider other flippings as well. You'll see that uh, there is no way in which you can make the sums of squares equal. Also, one more thing which I should have mentioned earlier is that all these row will have uh, equal sums like this thing. Just because like 7 plus 12 is 19, 8 plus 11 is 19, 9 plus 10 is 19. This is 7, 7, 7. So one, once you add these things, they'll add up to uh, 7 plus 19, 26. Basically like if I flip 7, 12 with 8, 11, like both of those things, like flip this whole pair with this pair, 
when the sum remains constant, you just have to worry about sums of square. So that is the nice thing about pairing up here. And another thing is like the sums of squares behave nicely. Like, yeah. So you try to add another thing. Also, you see that it's like of the sums of squares are of the form like k, k plus 4, k plus 12. L, L plus 4, L plus 12. So like it will be good to add some one more thing because you are trying to create three equal things and you have three different types of things as well. So it's probably like wise to create something like T, T plus 4, T plus 12. Because then you can like pair this thing, this, this with this and this. This way it will just work out. So then we move 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, and 18. And now, this thing is 256 plus 225, which is 481. This thing is 289 plus 196, 598, 485, which is 481 plus 4. And you can check this, but I'm pretty sure this will come out to be 481 plus 12. Okay. So now what I can do is I can just say, uh, let's see which color can we use. Okay. I can just take this, this, and this. So this will be 1, 6, 8, 11, 15, 16. And then I can take this this and this so 2 5 9 10 13 18 and the remaining three elements so this is 3 4 7 12 14 17 so this way I, like the sums of the numbers obviously equal like this is 7 plus 19 plus 31 for each row and for sum of square, like you see that if this is uh, k, this is k plus four, this is k plus twelve. Like we can scale this by like minus k minus l minus t. So like basically you can just think about this as zero four twelve after some scaling, and this is also zero four twelve and zero four twelve. So you take one twelve one four one zero. Here also you take one four one zero one twelve and one four. 1, 12, 1, 0. So this way, sum of square is also equal. And you can check manually if you really want. So this is a valid construction. And this is essentially your answer. And so one more thing which you could have noticed earlier is, so like you wanted to extend to a 3 cross k array, which means the numbers will be 1 till so on till 3k. Right? So the sums of squares of all the elements in this grid will be 1 square plus 2 square plus so on till 3k square. And if this sum is s, like sums of squares in the first row is s, all these are also s, right? Which means that this should be 3s. And notice that s is an integer. So this implies 3s is equals to n, n plus 1, under 2n plus 1 over 6. And we can cancel this out. And obviously, if k is even, like this thing is divisible by 2. So we can just like ignore 2 for now. Like the point is, since s is an integer, which means 3 should divide k times 3k plus 1 times 6k plus 1. But 3 cannot divide 3k plus 1 because 3k plus 1 is congruent to 1 mod 3. Similarly, 6k plus 1 is also congruent to 1 mod 3, which means 3 must divide k. And you can obviously manually check that k equals to 3 does not work. It's like just checking uh, 6 cases. That should not be that hard, right? Like the permutations of 7 at 9. Because 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6 remain at their position. And like most of these cases will just be removed by the sum condition. You don't even have to go to sums of square. So the next case is like k equals to uh, 6. And intuitively, I think it should be clear that 
since it is not asking you to find all such arrays, it does not have a well-defined structure maybe to find all such arrays. So it's very unlikely that a very high value of K works. Like K equals to six should intuitively work for you. So that you can be like sure that, okay, like you're 90% sure that K equals to six works and you're just like struggling to find the construction. I think that was the crux of this problem. And finding this pairing thing makes the construction, finding construction easier. So yeah, that was it. So I hope you uh, understood the solution. Yeah.